not only am I very excited for these Royal Knight tests to keep going, see more fights, see more magic, more characters, all that, but it has been so long since I've seen this opening, and I know it's a new opening, and I just cannot wait. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 77. Like I said in the pre-intro, this one is a new opening. I know that. I've been trying to keep track. With that being said, normally on our channel with the first and last episode of every season of every show, the full length, which is normally available on Patreon, is available to all you guys for free. But with Black Clover, there aren't really any seasons, so we do openings instead. So with this one being the first episode of this opening, the full length should be at the top of the description. Go check that out. Come back here for the review when you're done. If you can be awesome and leave this video playing the entire way through so i can get my play time up you'd be a legend i'd appreciate you oh so much but very excited to hop into this we got luck klaus and angel Puli, if i remember her name correctly versus two randos and a wind guy a wind attribute from the silver eagles so that should be very interesting silver eagles very prestigious wind attributes not the most common i'm excited to see another you know out there he's very mobile very quick um always have faith in my man luck and klaus though i'm i can't wait to see angel in action i'm very excited though very excited to continue with these royal knight selection tests and to see what happens I just got to get into this. I just cannot wait any longer. If you guys want to support future in the future and more on the channel and everything like that, if you guys could just follow my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok at Dapper Darius, I appreciate you guys oh so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 77. What is this one called? Um, Bad Blood. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, full metal fortress, nice. Like a steel wall. Thunderbolt destruction, hell yeah. Especially when it came to looking, going to that dungeon to try to find that cure for Asta. Hell no, you guys have definitely evolved. <laughs> My man Klaus was training too. <laughs> yes. Following Austin's example, I love it. I love it. Even if my hard work will betray me, I will not betray my hard work? That is a bar, Klaus. Okay, Spiral Lance. She can actually also a wing magic. I thought I said wind magic. She can actually fly. She's an angel, angel flapping. Ooh, and a tailwind for my allies, make them a lot quicker. That's dope. He is fast. Ooh, that was a strong kick. Okay, good kick, Luck. <laughs> Gordon was trying to. Oh, I'll do it with you, Gordon. It's the two young OP boys. Luck versus Rill. That should be an interesting fight. O team and P team. Who, who's going right now? And Ringard. This is their teammate. Okay. He seems more of a studious type magic user. Damn. Damn, and while he was zooming up to the top of that mountain. Violent peasant. <laughs> you know is cold hearted every time. Stupid stuff. Oof. I can't wait to see you get shit on. I cannot wait. Yeah, well, who? what team is in second place right now, Solid? I mean, you could talk all the shit you want, but... What is that Solid talking again? Solid and, and Nebra. And Nazel have always been like this to her. But Solid especially has been horrid. 
I love that transition to future her, present her. Let's let's whoop some ass, Noel. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I, okay. There was a lot of this is what I love about tests like this, especially tests after we've already established a lot of the characters i know a lot of you get upset when i relate the show to naruto i only do that because naruto to me is the basis of pretty much all anime because almost entirely the first anime i ever watched really got me into anime so when you have something like naruto which has an exam similar to this but the exam is how you meet the characters versus already introducing the characters and then having the exam later you have you have so many already set predestined rivalries that i love alec dora and you know have been clashing for a long time not a uh, solid noel long time you know it's like once I, i'm really enjoying this i'm really enjoying because i like i completely i'm so focused on noel and solid i completely forgot alec dora and you know are technically going against each other i'm like oh shit we can we can squash a lot of beef we've been having over the past few arcs you know I'm excited. O team, Dimitri Solid, Alec Dora, and Noel and Yuno. And Black Bulls women, my favorites. Yes, Finraw would know that the best. Fuck him up! Oh, they already have a combination with the sand, fire, and water. Yeah, it's a shortcut of that compound magic from earlier. Crescent Moon Sickle. Ooh, that was a good attack. Combo Eruption? That's also a good attack. The Sea Dragon's Lair is fantastic defense, especially against that. Oh my lord. Yep, where's N? Is he even here? Okay. That's not stopping us. True, true, smart. Use this, use what you think they're gonna do to your own strategy, your own advantage. See, right now we have Solid versus Noel, and we have, you know, versus Alec Dora, and I'm excited for all these. Flashback. Yes, he did. Langris, I remember that. Ooh. I completely understand where Aladora is coming from. There's a lot of people who, in a lot of situations, not just anime and magic, in real life, where if you've been doing this for a long time, you've, I don't want to say plateaued, but you've sort of stagnated and someone, some new, some new rookie comes in, steals the spotlight, steals the thunder, you instantly do not like them. This happens all the time in real life if you're a young star on the rise you will see this sort of attitude this sort of personality come from a lot of people who have been doing what you've been doing but i will say if you are the alec dora sandler in this situation i want you to be the klaus in this situation not alec dora sandler very similar people who handle it very differently alec dora gets pissed he, he takes it you know personally he gets a, a wants vengeance gets angry whereas klaus completely turns it into motivation he says thanks to asta and everything that he's shown me i'm gonna work out not only physically mentally spiritually everything if you can turn any negativity that you get from certain situations into motivation uh makes you that much better of a person i'm telling you shouts out klaus Dev oh another flashback the flashbacks are always good Figure of a god. Mr. William Vengeance. Respect that. A lot of people in those kind of situations in anime, you know. Get a huge sense of motivation, duty, responsibility towards people like this, you know. I understand that. I respect that. Especially when your life has been saved by him. You want to dedicate your grimoire to him. See, that's where I disagree, 
呼ばれた私はまだ一度も話しかけられていないのにバンジャン様を苦労している運よく精霊魔法を授かったからといや、you know, I get why Alidora feels like that, but no I completely disagree, but it happens, you know? I like how he flies on like a fire insect. It's like a fire moth. That's this, that's N, right? The support. What does he grow? Fungi? He's like, what's your name from my hero? Fungus magic, running Mr. Mushroom. Some spores, yep, it's exactly like her from my hero. Once the spores go on you, they can use their magic to increase it, yep, and grow them at a rapid rate. I love that. I've heard that voice actor. Is that Klaus's voice actor? Okay, shout out N being the oldest. Shout out N being the oldest brother, respect. Facts. I want to look up the end voice actor, especially for this fun guy. <laughs> Ooh, they're like water snakes. She's been acknowledged by a lot of strong characters. <laughs> Yami, Fuegoli, and Mariliona. Oh my lord. I really do like his slashing sea serpent. I like his water like snakes though. Oh, this is so dope. This is so dope. Like it's nothing. All he knows is his own dream. My boy, we will become Wizard King. <laughs> Your water slashing serpent, whatever that was. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ, that is so deserved. Shouts out my girl, Noel. <laughs> Much deserved. Solid when he goes back to the fucking Silva house, he's gonna get roasted. I cannot even begin to put into words how happy I am that Noel was able to shit on Solid. I am just I was just praying that uh Nozel and Nebra would be there as well. But you know, as long as he can go back to the house of Silva, be like, <laughs> she's so good. You know, and just cry like a little bitch, you know, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. That was a fantastic moment. It was a great strategy from her saying, knowing that if she separated from you know that uh, Solid would specifically go after her. Shouts out N, N, Ein on the support using the fungi to get rid of a fire bug dude. Cool magic, really interesting. But I just love how I was like, oh yeah, that water sea serpent was super dope. I really like uh, Solid's magic. I'm completely forgetting about Sea Dragon's Roar, how that's 10 times the spell and Noelle's using it like five times already at this point. I'm like, yeah, of course my girl's fucking OP. She's nasty. She's a fucking, she's a, I don't know. She, you know what I'm trying to say. She's amazing, but I love this episode. Um, I cannot wait to dive deeper. I love you know and Alagdora. I get where Alagdora is coming from, but he is I'm not even saying this to just be mean or anything. He's literally the definition of a hater. You know, like there are people who would see you know in that situation and be welcoming, like Klaus. Klaus was a little indifferent at first, but there are people who would definitely take a different. So I and especially from it's so annoying to me how elitist these people are, because if if um, you know, wasn't a peasant and he happened to be born, you know, in a different situation. They would think so much different of him and it's so annoying. Like, can we not judge people based off their personality, their actions, their strength, stuff like that? Um, you always want to judge people off things they have no control over and it's so annoying, you know? Uh, I'd go on about that for like an hour. But, fantastic music, fantastic magic, I love seeing everything. Um, I am digging... 
I cannot wait to see Klaus, not Klaus, uh, Langris and Finrock go at it. I know that's going to be one of my highlights of this arc. The opening was very interesting. I know some shit's going to go down. I actually kind of want to get this next episode right now. I, I really enjoyed seeing the Alagdora flashback, though, and, and why he dedicates his grimoire to William. And I, I need to know more about William, too. You know, obviously, we got the William flashback about his scar and all that and about how Julius found him. But I don't know. There's got to be more. There's got to be more. I'm curious. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. I appreciate y'all. Check out uh, Patreon if you guys want early access. Don't want to wait. We have four episodes early over there. Check out TikTok also if you guys want a little sneak peek at early access. Other than that, follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok, Dapper Darius. Um, I'm out of here, guys. I appreciate you watching. Peace out, Dapper Squad. Have a great day.